Hello guys, my name is Cody Vampire. Question number 11. Write a program that reads temperature in Celsius and display it in Fahrenheit. So, I'll write the formula. F is equal to 9C by 5 plus 32. The first step is to include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h void main parenthesis open the curly brace clear screen I'll keep the data type float c comma f now I'll tell the user to enter the temperature in cell cs and go to next line slash n followed by a semicolon c in c f is equal to 9 star c by 5 plus 32 so I'll put So parentheses are used to give priority to the part of expression. So first, 9's multiplied with C by 5 will be solved. Then the entire expression. Now I'll display the temperature. C out the temperature in Fahrenheit is less than less than F. Get CH. I'll close the program. Compile, run, enter the temperature in Celsius. Okay, 25. The temperature in Fahrenheit is 77. Okay, let me run the program again. 100 degrees Celsius, 212. Okay, but I think 100 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 373 Kelvins. So, wait, let me write minus 40, minus 40, yeah, the program is correct because for minus 40 degrees Celsius, the Fahrenheit would also be minus 40 degrees Celsius uh, Fahrenheit so the next question is 12 write a program that treat temperature in Fahrenheit and display it in Celsius okay so I'll write down the formula the formula is similar to the one that we did in the previous program but you have to shift the variables so c is equal to 5 multiplied with f minus 32 by 9 ok so first step is to include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h now we'll write void main open the curly brace clear screen float c comma f now i'll display on the monitor screen c out enter the temperature in fahrenheit go to a new line followed by a semicolon c in f i'll use the formula c is equal to f star f minus 32 by 9 so remember that it is necessary for you to put star here or else it would be a error 
in it will show, display you an error mathematically it is correct but in computer science the compiler will not recognize it so so you have to put a asterisk mark to show that it is multiplying followed by a semicolon now I'll put the entire expression in a single bracket now I'll display the answer see out temperature in celsius is less than less than c get ch and close the program i'll compile it i'll run the program i'll write minus 40 degrees celsius okay it is displaying me minus 40 so the output is correct so the next question is write a program to read value of x comma w comma x comma y and z and display the value of p where p is equal to w plus x by y minus z so you have been given the expression so in this program you have to accept the value of w x y and z and display and compute the value of p so i'll write the expression down here p is equal to w plus x by y minus z so include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include tonio.h then void main clear screen so I would like to keep the data type float x w comma x comma y comma z comma p and so i can keep the variable capital p as well so i want you to write a multi-line comment what are identifiers and rules for writing identifiers okay so here i have to put a semicolon otherwise it would display me an error syntax missing then i'll tell the user okay so since it is a multi-line command i have to close this star asterisk slash now see out enter the value of w comma x comma y comma and z slash and semicolon c in greater than greater than w greater than greater than x greater than greater than y greater than greater than z now i'll use the expression capital P uh, note that it should be P not small p since we declared we, uh, P as capital so what will happen if we will write small p let's see first let me write the program is equal to w plus x by y minus z so I'll put parenthesis here then here and the entire expression in one single parenthesis followed by a semicolon c out value of p is less than less than p so semicolon get ch and close the program now I'll compile the program it is displaying a error called undefined symbol p uh, since we declared p as capital and we are using small p so it cannot recognize this small p so I'll have to write I can keep the variable small p but I have to change where I've declared it so I'll write in small p I'll compile the program and I'll run it. Enter the value of W 
34x 12z 45 68 so the value of p is minus 2 so i'm wrapping up this video as always i'll see you guys in the next tutorial